All right, with Disney's investor announcements, they unveiled a bunch of stuff, including some more of their MCU projects. Only four of them got actual trailers, and we are going to go through each and every one of them right now. Now, WandaVision has been given a new trailer, and this trailer shows us a little bit more, but to be honest, I am still not convinced. They are trying to hide stuff and keep a lot of stuff secret, which I actually applaud, but by doing that, they are keeping me from getting excited when I watch these trailers. Like many, I don't know what to think of it, so I will reserve my final judgment for when the show comes out, but I do like that the trailer is showing some more creepy horror elements, almost like an episode of The Twilight Zone where things start out normal, but then they start to progressively get more and more twisted as it goes on. And I really do like this concept, but my question is, will Disney Marvel be able to pull it off? Because whenever you think they are going to try something different, they usually keep reverting back to their comedic roots, which doesn't let the new tone really have time to breathe and thrive and really get creative. It usually just abruptly stops and then goes back to the usual MCU tone, and I really want to see it mature now. Also, from what we have already seen, Marvel can't do horror. They've lied about it in their past trailers, so I don't care what these new trailers say. I won't trust that this will have elements of horror until I see it in the actual episode. Like I said, the MCU just keeps going back to comedy with their tones over over and over again. So as far as my predictions go right now, this will be no different. So I really do need to see the show in order to get more optimistic about it. But as of right now, I just really hope that they let these new interesting tones and ideas thrive and not interrupt them with a poorly timed joke. The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Now this is the one that I've been looking forward to the most because everything I heard about this show and its more spy thriller genre roots feels very much in line with the tone of my favorite MCU movie, Captain America the Winter Soldier. And I really want them to utilize the tone of the Winter Soldier and make it this really intense spy thriller. I mean, that's one of the things that I loved about the Winter Soldier. Out of all the movies in the entire MCU, this one was the most consistent with its tone and quality of story, action, dialogue, and humor. And it even had some dark moments sprinkled in as well. And that's what I want to see the MCU do more of in general. And if this show really does take after the Winter Soldier with regards to its style and tone, then this show will be right up my alley. Now we do get some crappy jokes and the humor really does concern me because I did not laugh at any of these jokes. And you know that if these are the jokes that they specifically chose to put in the trailer, then it really makes me worry for the rest of the humor in the show. I'm not saying that the comedy between these two can't work, it definitely can, and I want to see these two take jabs at each other and all that, but I want it to be funny and not silly and childish, which unfortunately is the case with a lot of Marvel's humor. I really hope they be smart with the humor and don't put it in in inappropriate places. And the budget for this looks like something that you would expect to see in the cinema. I mean, it's obvious that this is CGI, but it looks like cinema level CGI, which for a television show is awesome, and I intend to watch all of these shows in my projector, so for me, this will feel like a cinema experience. And the villain in this show is going to be Zemo from Civil War, and I'm very curious to see exactly what he is going to do. And then we move on to Loki. And by the way, did you guys recognize the theme that they were using in this trailer? The pitch was changed a little, but it was exactly the same as the Catwoman theme in The Dark Knight Rises. Oops. Am I the only one that sees that? That is a very bizarre creative decision on their part. Now the story of Loki time traveling and altering the course of historical events, that is a story that has been done before. The two shows that immediately come to mind is Legends of Tomorrow and The Umbrella Academy. Now Legends I thought was really bad, and The Umbrella Academy I haven't seen, but I heard that it's a really slow show, and that's what put me off of watching it. For that aside, my point is that Loki is apparently taking a very similar plotline from those two shows, and I'm gonna be honest. Loki is a show that I was looking forward to the least, and after seeing this trailer, I really have no interest in watching this show at all. I loved his redemption arc in Thor Ragnarok, and I loved his death scene in Infinity War, and for them to so quickly give him another story which will inevitably bring him back into the MCU, it really does take away from one of my favorite MCU films, and it means when I watch this movie again and see this scene, it's not going to mean that much to me anymore. The impact is going to be extremely reduced, and the same goes for Vision, which is why I really hope that they don't bring him back by the end of this show because that would also really lessen the impact of his amazing death scene from Infinity War. So with all the heroes that they can use in these MCU shows, it really bothers me that they are going to bring back these characters that I thought had some great send-offs. 
I mean, just because you can bring characters back doesn't mean you should. It just means that when you do bring them back, we are not going to worry for them in future movies because we know that Marvel are not going to kill the characters off when they put all that effort into bringing them back again. In this trailer, we even get a hint at Black Widow, who looks like she is in the realm of the Soul Stone or something. We know that her soul gets taken away in that sky beam in Endgame, so it makes me wonder if they are going to bring her back for good now through this show. So yeah, this is the MCU show that I am looking forward to the least. Although I will say that on the plus side, the production and budget of this show does look quite high too. We haven't seen anything that looks as awesome as the Falcon and Winter Soldier show or even with the bits of stuff that we have seen in WandaVision, but that is something that I can say with all of these shows across the board, that I love the production quality of them. But the humour in most of them, particularly in the Loki trailer, is very dodgy. But like I said, the production value, top notch. The same can't be said for their other new show, What If? Now when I first heard of the announcement of this show long ago, I loved the idea of it because I thought we would get the actors back in live action and have them play these roles differently. But when I heard Kevin Feige say animation, I was like, Okay, that's different, but let's see what the animation style looks like. I mean, DC animation is renowned for its different styles, so let's see what Marvel can come up with. And then I saw the animation, and I was very disappointed with it. Now, some of the animation looks decent, but honestly, this reminded me of the animation that we got in the Telltale games. Except in the Telltale games, they actually managed to make use of this basic animation style very smartly as they went on, and the limitations of the visuals was made up for by letting you control the experience by actually playing it and taking part in it. That kind of filled in the gaps of the lower budget animation, but because you don't get to take part in it with this show, it just comes off as very unfinished. Now this really cheap animation style really does make me think that Kevin Feige realised that he has bitten off more than he can chew, because making a movie like this in live action would require a lot of actors and they would essentially be making a big Avengers film again, and you can tell that they didn't have the time to do it due to their other projects that they are trying to make, so they just got some quick animation out of it. And how do I know that they got some quick animation out of it? Well, because after the pandemic hit and a lot of shows had to immediately halt production, there was one show that decided to fill in the scenes that they didn't shoot with animation, and the show that did that was Blacklist. And look at this animation. It's bad, but it's understandable that they had to quickly rush this out within a very tight time schedule. And when you look at this animation, and then the animation style that they used in What If, it's painfully obvious that Marvel decided to quickly throw something together too. Granted, they got more time than the team that did the animation for the Blacklist, but you can still see the rush production with this. Now on the plus side, you get the original actors coming back to voice their characters, but honestly, the animation style has really dampened my excitement for this, which is a shame because a lot of the stuff I see in this trailer would have been so so cool to see in live action but unfortunately we don't get to see it that way so yeah this is a show that I might watch an episode of just to see what it's like but then we'll probably just ignore so those are my thoughts on the recent trailers for the MCU I really hope they're good in the end but I just want to see the MCU mature more that doesn't mean that they have to become like DC or anything but if you've read Marvel comics or seen the other non Disney Marvel movies then you know that Marvel has some darkness in it as well and the MCU does doesn't really feel like it's incorporating as much of it as it should. I mean, if episodes of Star Wars The Clone Wars, a show that is meant for children on TV, can be darker and more violent and mature with its PG rating than the PG-13 MCU movies, then you know that something is not right. So some people might be sick of hearing me say this, but it's the only thing I really want from the MCU. Become more mature and age with your audience. They aren't going to be kids forever, Star Wars The Clone Wars knew that, and it massively worked to its benefit. And the same goes for other stories that we grew up with, so why can't you do that too? Do that, and then I will be very happy. If not, well, then I'm going to have the same complaints, as I am growing tired of the same predictable tone from the MCU. But one thing is for sure, Disney Plus have gone above and beyond with the production value for these TV shows, and I hope this makes companies like Netflix and others put more money into their content in order to compete. So comment below and let me know what you guys thought of the trailers for the new shows, and how would you rank them from best to worst? Be sure to let me know. For me, it's the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, WandaVision, Loki, and finally, What If. Thank you very much as always for watching, guys, and I will see all of you next time. Take care.